Howdy, hey, I'm Brett. If this is useful aircraft. Five, four, three. Howdy, hey, I'm Brett. This is useful aircraft. Welcome back to the shop. It's 9 p.m. It's showing that it's 104 degrees in here. I got two fans running and I might be sitting on an ice pack. This is going to be a brief video, but I had to show you what I'm working on. You guys are obviously all familiar with some of my sub 250 builds. This is one of them. That's the uh, high wing trainer that I built with the Nerf Dart things that fit on there as well. Doesn't necessarily mean it's under 250 when you have the Nerf darts on there, but uh, as an out and out trainer, it's a nice airplane. Once in a while though, the sub 250 genre seems to be geared more towards the casual flyer that likes to go out there and do some slow park flying. I enjoy that, but there's times that I wanna go out and tear it up. You get a little bit frustrated, you get something you gotta work out. It's not a bad time to get out there, toss something into the sky, watch it rip around and really challenge you. It gives you about 10 minutes of zen. It clears your mind, makes you focus on nothing but flying the airplane. That's something I really enjoyed. Because of that, I wanted something a little bit meaner, a little bit more aggressive. And that's where I came out with this airplane. As you can see, it is a significantly smaller version. It is a much more streamlined, focused on performance. It's got three servos, one on each uh, aileron. That way they can function uh, as flapperons as well. And a uh, servo going back to the uh, elevator. This airplane fights torque. It stalls, it has conventional recovery. It flies like a bat out of hell. It's loads of fun. I want to show you what it does. It's very critical to keep the center of gravity right. Flew it today. I, I got to see. The battery was a little unknown going into it. Um, I had used it for some previous tests beforehand, and I think it honestly uh, may not have been fully charged. I uh, got about seven and a half minutes out of it. I was quite happy with that, though. But it is something that has your undivided, don't talk to me style attention the entire time you're flying it. Its roll rate is I don't know, difficult to calculate. Honestly, I'd have to look at the footage later on and, and try and do some uh, counting and some, some dividing. It, it crosses the park with frightening speed, yet at the same time, it flies as if it's on rails. This is not an easy airplane. It is an airplane you have to stay in front of. It is a real challenge. I'm not saying a real handful, but um, approach it with some caution. Uh, I will say uh, one of the other tools, uh, all these airplanes, long before I actually even start the design work, I start them off uh, as models in Excel, start doing some basic weight and balance. I want to show you something now that's uh, something I, I've been using behind the scenes, but maybe uh, I should point it out. Let's take a look. If you can see here, I've got two uh, equally equal length control rods that I normally use. These are just survey stakes. Buy them at Home Depot. You can get them at Lowe's. You can get them wherever. They go into this uh, 3D printed kind of pin cushion looking assembly. If you can see, it's got a bunch of holes in there. And what this allows you to do, if we can scroll down and see it, let me shut this off. If you can see it like that, it allows me to take the airplane and place it in here. This is with the battery installed right now. This allows me to very accurately determine my center of gravity. As you notice, it is balancing on these two points only. You can see there as it teeter-totters, but that tells me as long as that piece is placed aligned with the, uh, with basically the, um, the, the span of the wings, um, then you get an exact idea of where your center of gravity. This airplane, as she sits right here, is equipped to fly. I'll grab the scale, we'll take a look at the all-up weight. So that's the center gravity tool to the scale. And to show you, there's a battery inside there. Everything is set up. She's good to go. I'll put this cover back on. Again, same thing, uses my same vent, vent design. Flip this into uh, grams. Bring it around here. And there's your all up weight. 223 grams, so it's sub 250. Like I said, the airplane's a hoot to fly. I'll show you some flight videos now, and uh, we'll go from there. Sorry, it's a brief introduction. Sorry I've been gone for uh, a couple of weeks. Work has been busy, and when I've come home, I, I just, I've had to take care of the things at home that keep the enterprise running. Like I said, hopefully it'll cool down. I know folks have been asking me about plans. They've been asking me about a store and, and selling some of these airplanes. It's something I'll probably get to in the future. Um, you know, while my time is so scarce in the garage right now, this is where I go. This is my zen. This is my quiet time. This is my escape. Just like taking an airplane out and flying it, where all you focus 
you know, it's, it's based on flying the airplane, it's kind of a mental break. And that's exactly what I come to the shop for. I want that same Zen state, that same flow state that gives me the release. So let's watch some flying videos. Be nice to folks out there. I appreciate your time. Thoughts, comments down below. Uh, if there's something you'd like to see, I'd be happy to get into it. And I'll hopefully uh, this week and next is going to be busy. It may be a week or two before I can get another video out. But uh, we'll get into some of the uh, flight dynamics of this and show a build video. I think you'll like it. This is, again, super simple build. You could do this in under 30 minutes. Appreciate your time. Have a great night. All right, we're in video mode. This is attempt number three. Chonky boy who is no longer chonky. Center of gravity marks are a thumb's width back from the uh, leading edge. Elevators, ailerons. Nothing more to prove. <clears throat> Into the wind. We're gonna do, uh, we're expecting a lot of torque. The center of gravity is further forward. Hopefully we have better controllability. And we'll see how much left aileron. Feel that motor. More down thrust than I care for. She's up. She's fast. She's small and hard to tell orientation. Probably use a little bit nose up. Oh shit, that roll rate is insane. I'm gonna land it. All right. Holy cow. Okay, so she's quick. She's got a ridiculous roll rate. I think I'm going to cut that roll rate significantly to give myself some more stick throw. So um, I'll come in, I'll hit model, move forward a few. Let's take our aileron, let's edit that. And it's at 100 right now. I'm going to move it down to... Uh, let's cut it by half, 50. All right, let's apply it to both ailerons. It wanted a touch more nose up. I think that could be a thrust angle issue, so let's give it half a board trim. So what I mean by that is basically the uh, elevator up by two and a half millimeters. And that could be a thrust angle issue. So again, left turn, right turn, pitch up, nose up, nose down. Uh, torque seems to be, it's still got a lot of torque. Um, I was having problems making uh, turns counteracting the torque. Um, so gotta have a little bit of stall recovery, but holy cow, she moves. That, uh, that was two minutes. Let's uh, see if we can get another two minutes out of her. Again, here we go. She's a tiny little nothing and flies like a friggin' Learjet. The thrust angle is definitely nose down and that um, will need to be corrected. A Little bit of wind from the corner there. So, we're armed, same thing. 
Go to a high throttle setting. It's easy to get low airspeed. That was a spin. That was faster than hell. Dude, that thing's a fucking bottle rocket. Holy cow. That was five minutes that, um, yeah, it's gonna take a little while to get my, uh, get my heart rate back down. This thing is three shots of espresso and fucking half a kilo of Coke, it looks like. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Thrust angle needs to be addressed. Turns better to the right than to the left. That's probably torque. Um, I think it's a question of that center of gravity, but I'm gonna try uh, giving it another toss. Um, I wonder if it could use more expo on pitch. It wasn't a whole lot of movement on pitch. Let's try that. Hmm. All right, that's 50% expo on pitch. Battery's secure. Try it for another two minutes. Wind out of the pocket. Camera's up. She still looks good. Uh, let me return out of this menu. About a five knot breeze on the nose. 80%. Oh, of course the battery's low.
So it's taming. All right, battery's getting low, I think. I don't know, I'll have to check. We'll bring it around. So it can fly slower, that's disarmed. So we're six minutes, 54 seconds into the battery. Wow, uh, the 50% Expo on pitch certainly seemed to help. The uh, roll Expo's at 50% with the throws reduced. Uh, let's see, by how much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to 50% throw. Wow. Um, otherwise, the roll rate was simply blinding. Um, let's see how she looks. That's her on landing. So, the thrust angle is basically a thumbnail aft, thumbnail aft. The bottom's fine. I don't see any stress marks. Let's pull the battery. There we go. That is an airplane. That thing is a screamer.